Oh, kitty! I just realized. Kitty, come back! It's all dim out here. It's so bright in her room. Wow. I can't climb on that branch. Damn. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Yeah. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Aww. Molly had a special place in her heart. Oop, this way. Grandma's room? I oh, this is the parents' room. I spent a lot of time room. in Great Grandma Edie's room. Oh. Uh, <gasps> was Molly Edie's daughter? Because she said my parents didn't notice me and it was this bedroom. I could be wrong. Lurpy. These all have names. Oh my god, all her birds have names. <sighs> Built by along, Sven. And it was a good place to hide from my mom. When Edie Aww. told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. I like that. I like Edie. She seems badass. Dragon kills Finch. Oh. Uh, so it was in 1937 that this place was built. So I think it was her daughter that died. So it was your mom's sister. Wow. That's hard. Edie won't go. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. Of course she For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Cute. Aww. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. So who was Edith number one? Edith Sr. Oh, Edie, I guess. That makes sense. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. That's fantastic. Sh shrine sketches? I want to see these. It's not interactable. Uh, oh, she was painting. Oh, she was painting my brother? Yeah. Lewis died a week before we left. Oh, maybe not. But Edie had already started to memorialize him. Wow. Lewis, so that's not our brother. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. That's why I'm wearing them. Oh. Thank you for not having, like, n you know, obstructive cleavage. So she painted the room. Aww. Aww. Handprints. Mine were not so pretty. <laughs> had a lot of gems all around it that had no rhyme or reason. Oh my god, there's so many. Edith, there's me. 2004. Milton was our brother. So was Lewis another brother? That's a beautiful sewing machine. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, she was sewing this before they left. As a house. Her room was like a museum. Yeah. You can see that. Oh shit, is this For a story? For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout North and misfortune. Uh. How do I do? There we go, E. I should've known. Oh, Gordon I have to hold Finch it. buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son. Johan. That really hurt my eyes. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. You brought the house, but though, 40-foot so. waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Okay. Odin's daughter, Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step Aww. ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Sven and Molly, so maybe... I don't know. I'm getting confused. Odin I know Finch the is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Wow. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Oh, and Sven built it. Wow. Uh, yes. So, that's what I was just Whatever's about to wrong look with at. This family, it goes back a long ways. I don't know if I consider it wrong. So, I'm sketching. I'm. I'm a great artist. Um, Odin, so Molly goes all the way to the left. So, 
I don't know how she originated. This is a weird family tree. Okay. Huh. Dawn is our mom. Who the hell is Gus and Gregory? And then there's Edie and Walter. I'm, I'm so confused by this. I'm trying to figure it out. But I'm kind of confused by the... The mysteries of death and thereafter. I'm confused by... <laughs> the order of which everyone's born. Sven and Edie. That's a cute door. Alright. There's oxygen tank pills. I wonder what she had. Alright, there's also that door. I think I tried to look at it before. She tried carving. Something. Even in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. I could see that. This is a the sweet only bathroom. Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the so house was pink. the pink bathroom. Uh -huh. It was a pretty big trace. Yeah. It's sweet in the sense of like an old lady's bathroom. Oh my god, so much pink. I can't interact with anything there. Oh. There's a secret in this bathroom. What's the secret? There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. Oh. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. What? It's a Sven black gave Sam an old red room. He'd refurbished. Black room. He never put it down. It's called a dark room. That's the word. I'm like, I know it's red, but it's like dark and black. Dark room. All right. Well, I'm blown away by all these secret hidden passages. <laughs> like, holy shit. All right. Uh, how do I crouch? Oh, I just do. Okay. Just by pressing W. Milton was here. Milton was here all the times before me. Maybe I don't want to know. And that's why Milton's missing. Fort Calvin. Who's Calvin? What the fuck? This is a sweet little hidden room, though. It's divided in half for some reason. So I guess maybe these kids didn't like each other? I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. Oh, twins. Command center. And this is more like a log cabin. That's interesting. His way doesn't... It stops here. You can't get over there. But he built a bridge. Or maybe at one point this had a bridge, but not anymore. That's really cool. I love these bedrooms. And that he never talked about him. Well, if he passed away, I understand that. Especially twins. I guess Usually. my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. More like the connection with a twin is usually so... I mean, it's strong with any sibling, but twins are usually even more so. It's like yourself. I don't know. At least based on what I've heard. So I'm gonna put this on. Or, oh, I guess not. Damn. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Aww, I have a broken cat, or broken leg. My brother I have said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Aww. At Barbara's funeral, we swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I love the swing. I I'm in Calvin control. always wanted to fly. Am I Calvin? Calvin! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. To fly? Am I gonna fly off this cliff? I told him going nope. around was impossible. Kids have very little sense of mortality. Like, in general. Okay, so I'm gonna- I'm supposed to try and make it all the way around. I just fucked up by forgetting to hit S, so... Hold on! Maybe if I hadn't said that... He'd be alive. Alvin, <sighs> I'm not gonna tell you again! Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up... Then maybe um, he'd still be here. 
Hitting the floor. Hitting the floor should have slowed him down. Just saying. I think he'd already made up his mind. All of this should have slowed him down already. That's what I want to remember about my brother. No matter how much speed you have going, by the time you let up here, you would have already fallen. Like, the chains would have given. Trust me. I've tried to go as high as I can. Oh my god! Ah! And fell to the cliffs and died. Let's be real, that's what happened. Wow. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. <laughs> Let's stop uh, killing ourselves here, guys. Oh my god, okay. That was a shorter story than I was expecting. So not all of them are as long as Molly's. Molly's was fucking long. Aw, Edie painted every single one of them. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Oh. And they just kept it there. That's even worse, though. That kid had to sleep in front of his brother's room every single day. Oh, my God. Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. I can totally, yeah. I mean, because you didn't change it. This poor kid. That's hard. Uh, what? All of these rooms are connected in some way. What? Come on. Uh, or it's, oh, it's a, I thought it was a pull. It is not, fun fact. The devs are fucking creative. Wow. That's cool. I like this the frowny little jackal. Pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. They'd been built for the little kids to go in and out of each other's rooms. Wait, I want to stay in here though. I want to go this way. That's just unlocked now because that's the main area. What, Bigfoot? Growing up, my friend Bigfoot. I always thought of Barbara as a child star. That's what she looks like. I could see why. Her entire room is themed that way. Oh my god. This is so freaking cool. Okay. This way. What? Happy birthday, Barbara. Oh, that's gotta be grody. Ew, wait. Happy birthday. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. She was 16. According to this cookie and all the candles. I counted holes, though. I, I didn't count candles. I how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Yeah. Being a child star, I've heard, is uh, quite the thing to tackle. Dreadful stories. These are great portraits. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Maybe because it's so creative. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Barbara. As a I like this voice acting. Star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Oh. Now at 16, she was all washed 16. up. 16. That's right. Has been. Ugh. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. Mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan uh. and current boyfriend, Rick, Creepy. was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. 
So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums in Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... Oh, no. That came from the basement. You're Fuck right. that, nope. Also, You're right. I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. Oh. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. Yeah, so fuck Barbara that. Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. Oh no. She reached for the music box. Do I have to? I kinda. And yeah. As she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Nope. Rick's dead. You don't go down there. Oh, I'm in control. This is cool. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. Yeah, use it as a weapon. Oh no, is he tricking us to get a scream out of us, but we're gonna end up hurting him? Or we're gonna have a heart attack and die, one or the other. This is a bad idea. Better they actually killed Rick and we're gonna die, one or the other. Okay, your father's got some creepy the sculptures. Here is the infamous Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Oh, wait. This blood is from your dad, from cutting himself on the saw. They weren't able to clean it all up. Well. I'm I'm thoroughly creeped out right now, though. Nope. I don't want to do this. Oh, my God. This is really neat, though. The old fridge rattled and grew steel. That's not rattling. That is full-on moving. I'm gonna- I'm gonna whack it good! Yep. Oh dear. Yep. What'd you think was gonna happen? Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, totally I'm called not it. Scared Rick. I'm furious. I would be too. Act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and. Yeah. She yeah. Fuck him. Out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? Oh. And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Oh no. Oh no. At least I still have this as a weapon. Key's still in there. There's eyes on the door that's creepy. Also, that's not locked right now. Okay. Rollerblade. Is this necessary? What is happening? Walter. Oh, right. This was Walter's room. Walter, are you there? That's a mask. I can't move. Like, I can't turn. Walter had vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orca's Island Police described the man as six feet tall, with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Uh, behind you, bitch. Barbara behind you. Turned, saw the hook man, and <gasps> was speechless. He was quite smashing. Uh. <gasps> Kick him! Kick him! There you go! Exactly what I wanted you to do. He couldn't get enough of Barbara. Um, 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 um. Okay, Barbara. There's gotta be another way out of here. This way. Nice ass shot, though. She played her part beautifully. Oh, no. 
So this isn't what really happened, but this was a story someone made. She thought about abandoning Walter, but just couldn't do it. Yeah, I understand that. Was he in the bathroom? Where's Walter? Do I go this way? I do. Yeah. What? Fuck you. Yes! Yes! He wasn't moving. Satisfying. She sensed the story might not be over. Yeah, no. Don't ever trust that. Uh, leave? How about we leave? Walter, where the fuck you at? Kid? This is really neatly interactive. I love everything they've done! Uh, he gone now. Shit. Yeah, no, he ain't there anymore. The hook bag had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was... I don't wanna... Can I not? I'm guessing I have to. TV's on. I don't want to open. Dying to speak to young Barbara. Why do you ever want to answer the door? He has a group. She heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. Behind you. <gasps> oh dear. <laughs> I love how she never screams. And she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. Yep. I wasn't there. Oh, look how happy she looks. But I hear Barbara. Was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. <gasps> but unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all wow. pretty hard. But yeah. That's another story. As for Barbara, they never found her. inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Oh, why? I call a real eerie tale. Oh. <laughs> well, that sure. Oh my God, <laughs> that was great. I was not expecting that. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. That she was remembered. Wow. Well, that was sure interesting. Bigfoot. Wow. 